Hi, I'm Nick Thornton, sales and design manager here at Lucas Equine in Cynthiana, Kentucky. And I spend a lot of my time designing stalls with customers. And in a visual world, we all could use a little bit of help to understand what our options are. And so to help you with that, we've created our stall builder, which you can find right on our website. Here's how you can access the stall builder. First, go to lucasequine.com. As soon as you get to the home page, right here for you on the right side, it says build your stall online. Click there first to get started. Once you're at the login screen, put in your name and email and possibly a phone number and click OK, let's get started. What I would recommend is think of the function of the barn first and then pick a design that looks best to you to start. So I'm going to pick the Magnolia style front. In my barn, the horses are well tempered. They really enjoy socialization and they enjoy being part of my daily activities in the barn. See, this is a, a low swooping stall with a nice gentle arch all the way across. And now it's time to start filling in the blanks for what we want in the stall panels. Now to show you how easy it is to pick your pieces and parts, we have some drop down menus for the top sections and the bottom sections in the door and the panel separately. So I'm very quickly going to run through here. I like one inch bars in the top of the doors. I like a 90 degree cross hatch in the bottom of the door and I like uh, vertical wood in the bottom of my panels. And as you see, it's pricing it as you go, giving a budget for you to go by. And now we're going to go to step two. In step two, we get to pick some more decorative details. Now right now, this is a very simple stall, very elegant. Uh, I, want to, I want to give it a little bit more mass. So I'm going to go with a wood center rail in the door. I'm going to go with the same across the panel. I can choose to stop there as far as the design goes and move on to step three. or. For the bottom of the door, I want a wood bottom rail to help me with my shavings to keep them in the stall. And I'll do the same across the bottom of the stall front just to balance the look. Now we've added a little bit more meat to this stall and given it a really nice crisp lines across there. Now in step three, we get to go just a little bit further with the aesthetics. This is where we select a little bit of the gingerbread. So in this step, I'm going to pick some large solid cast brass ball finials for the tops of my post. I'm partial to the brass finials. And you have other accessories or other add-ons like electric uh, cutouts, water access, feed options. I'm going to add a feed hole. I like to be able to stick my bucket through. And now I've got a budget price. I'm going to go to the next step, which is to get an estimate. Here we are on the final phase of the stall builder process. It's given us a rundown of all of our selections. It's given us a few options to print or to share by Facebook or LinkedIn or email. An Ask an Expert button, which will send an email directly to us 24 hours a day if you have questions, or the Get a Quote button. Now, when you select the Get a Quote, it will send a copy directly to us, giving us an idea of what you want. Feel free at that point to add any additional equipment you might need, questions, comments. This is where we start working together. So I hope you enjoyed this guided tour. At Lucas Equine Equipment, we build our stalls just for you, just for your barn. They're all built 15 steps from this office. Please use our tool. Use it as much as you'd like, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Send in the information. We'll do our best to help. Log on at www.lucasequine.com.